Hey guys, it's Larry from the Oregon Coast. On uh, November 28th, I was uh, I started a little uh, project, a um, little crockey experiment. I was watching a video from Bobby, the MPH gardener, and um, I'm going to put a link there up above, there in the left-hand corner. But um, um, His video explains a lot better, but it's pretty cool. Um, basically, he had like a stationary raft. Uh, he had no water, um, water pumps, no air pumps, and basically like an off-grid hydroponics setup. And uh, it looked really easy, and I'm like, man, I gotta try this. And it was, the, and it was the end of the season, so I just grabbed a uh, jalapeno plant um, and dumped the pot out, and then uh, held the held the roots in water till they uh, I got most of the soil out. Tried to clean the roots the best I could, but um, and then I found a coffee can, and then I, I pruned it way down, way down, and then. Uh, this first picture is actually about two weeks old when I took it. There wasn't any leaves on it whatsoever. And basically I just have it indoors right now because it, it is winter. And I have a uh, another another plant right next to it. And I actually have a little air bubbler in there. That's a um, different video. So side by side I wanted to kind of see how they would do together. Here's a, here's a close up of my little project here. What I got here is just a little three inch net pot that you can buy at any uh any hydroponic store. And I cut a hole right in the center of the bottom of the net cup. And I made it big enough where I could slide the old uh old roots from the plant down. Now I believe this is like the second week and uh there actually is a little bit of a smell. It smells like the roots are almost rotting, but um you can see new roots are starting to form here. And all I'm using for the nutrient is I'm just taking uh, water right out of my aquarium right next to it. You can't see it in this in this picture, but uh, I'm filling the container just a uh, coffee can, Folgers coffee can, about half full, and just letting the roots set in there. And uh, <laughs> that's it. It's uh, December 12th, and uh, this project's been going on for about three weeks now. This isn't the greatest of pictures, but I want to take a picture of uh, this how I got set up during the day I just got kind of pushed back a simple little light bar and the only thing I'm using is a there are 22 26 watt compact fluorescent light bulbs I just have a simple little light bar up there and to to the to the left there that's a little rocky he's not so low anymore but uh, that's a completely different video much better now this is a better picture okay uh, it's not doing too bad I mean check out the growth there uh, the leaves are starting to come come through and uh, I have a little timer there off to the right and I set it for uh, about 10 hours and uh, I'm just trying to keep it alive till springtime but so far I'm really impressed and uh, I, um, this is super easy, this is easy to get so you just put a little bit of water and let it sit there check out those roots now the old roots, they definitely look like they're dying and, uh, and the smell it uh, pretty much all went away. I, I can't really smell the roots too bad anymore. And right now I'm just using the, the um, aquarium water like I said and I do change it out once a week. And right now I have a little bit below half full, probably closer to a third full of the coffee can. Now I've never done anything like this before and uh, what I'm thinking about is once these new roots hit the water I think I'm going ahead and just going to um, cut a chunk of the old roots to kind of see what happens, see if the new roots can kind of take off. But so far this uh, setup is doing just as good if not better than my little mini hydro setup there. And, uh, I'm really impressed. I mean these roots are fantastic growth so far. So I, th I think I'm going to take cold pictures in a couple weeks or in a month and uh, kind of see and uh, put everything together and see what see what we come up with. It's January 2nd and a uh, happy new year and so far I've got this project going for about two months now but uh man check out those flowers well, here's a better overall picture kind of looks like a uh, Charlie Brown uh, pepper plant but hopefully this thing will fill out in a, a few weeks check out those roots basically the old roots are uh, look like they're pretty much dying off now and uh, starting to get some good uh, new root growth there and so far, um, 
the first couple weeks there's a little bit of a rotting um, rotting smell now there's no smell whatsoever but I have been changing out the water uh, once a week so this is this isn't really a true uh, crocky method Th um, that method uh, basically you just fill up the solution and the plant slowly brings it brings it down but I have been changing this out once a week to keep the smell down and as these new roots um, start growing, um, now I'm slowly lowering the uh, water level. Now I'm, I'm about um, three inches from the bottom of the coffee can. So that's where I refill now. So the bottom, um, the lower bottom roots are just barely touching, um, touching the water. And for the solution, I'm still just adding uh, water right out of my aquarium tank. I have a so, so far I'm getting fantastic results just using the, the fish water. I'm really happy so far how this thing's grown. It's nice and green. The leaves are green. Uh, plant's grown really well. N uh, I haven't seen any yellow yellowing of the leaves. And this setup's probably doing just as good or if not better than my little mini, uh, mini system I got that is uh, identical to this. Other than the fact that I'm adding uh, hydroponic nutrients to it and a uh, air stone. But I don't see, uh, I just don't see any uh, any extra benefit by adding that air stone. This thing is uh, growing awesome. Alright, well I'm going to wrap this up. Um, I'm going to do another update in a month or two just to see, uh, see how well this thing, uh, how well it does. Alright guys, you have a good one and take care.